So doers, what's up? Welcome back. How you doing? Glad you're here. Today we're talking about campaigns, what they are and why we need them. Marketing campaigns allow businesses to define specific goals, promote those goals and track their effectiveness. Some examples of campaign goals can be to hire interns, create brand awareness, generate leads or a combination of several goals all at the same time. Sky's the limit, really. Odoo social marketing app helps you organize your campaign's posts and track their success through key metrics like engagement, revenue, quotes, and opportunities that they can generate. Understanding campaign success allows us to refine our strategies and drive even better results in the future. So follow me along as I create a brand new campaign. All right, we're kicking things off on our social marketing dashboard, and this is where we can see a summary of all of our social media accounts here at the top, followed by everything we've posted down below. But I want to see our campaign specifically, so we're just going to click this campaigns button here at the top. And would you look at that? I can see all of our campaigns organized by their status. It's important to note that social marketing only comes with the new stage configured, not any of these other stages here. So I created this running stage, which indicates the campaigns that are live and the active posts for contents within them. I also made an ended stage so I can track when a campaign is over and see how it performed. So let's take a look at this summer intern search right here. We can see the name of the campaign along with any of the tags associated with the card. And we can see how many posts, notifications, mailings, and SMS messages this campaign has had. In this case, it has zero because it's still in the new stage. If we did, it would be in the running stage. Duh. And at the bottom of the card, we can see the number of clicks, revenue, how many quotes and opportunities this campaign has generated. These metrics are currently at zero, which is again expected. We wouldn't see any data here until content has been produced and posted and the campaign is in the running stage. And last but not least, we see who's responsible for the campaign right here. Now let's create a new campaign to introduce our new exciting summer colors. To make a new campaign, I'm just gonna click new here in the upper left-hand corner and in this blank campaign name box, I'm just going to enter the name, which is Summer Colors 2025. Then I'll set the responsible person to me. And we can also add some relevant tags. And for this example, we're going to do product launch as well as marketing. And then I'll click add. And there it is. Now for the exciting part, creating posts and sharing posts about our new summer colors, I'll click into the campaign card. And here at the top, I can see we can send an email, an SMS, add a post or even a push notification. I want to make a social media post. So I'm just going to click add a post. And I also only want to post this post I'm creating to Facebook and Instagram. So I'm going to untick YouTube as well as Twitter. Now I'll add a message with some hashtags. And next I'll attach an image of my new color swatches. And here on the right, we can see a nice preview of what our Facebook post will look like as well as our Instagram page. Okay. My campaign is automatically selected right here, so all's good. And now I don't want to drop this immediately, so I'm going to click the schedule later option. And let's say we want to drop this tomorrow at noon, and then we'll just click apply. Okay, this looks great, so I'm going to scroll back to the top and just click the schedule button right here. Now that it's scheduled, the status changes to scheduled. And now I have the option to also post this now if I change it to my mind. But let's navigate back to our campaign using the breadcrumbs right here. And back on this page, I can see my scheduled post right here. Okay, now that this is ready to go, I'll go back to our campaigns right here and land back on our campaigns dashboard. And since we have a scheduled post for our Summer Colors 2025, I'm just going to move this to our running stage since our post is going to drop tomorrow. And that's it for today's tutorial. We've covered how to create a campaign, understand its benefits, and successfully schedule a social media post. Stay tuned for our other tutorials and see where this campaign takes us and why campaigns are pretty neat. See you in the next video. Take care, O-Doers.